glad that you're watching today. Today we're going to talk about Jesus' baptism in the Jordan River. So we're going to start out by reading the story. And it's in Matthew chapter 3, verses 13 through 17. Now, Jesus and John the Baptist were related to each other because Jesus' mother Mary and John's mother Elizabeth were related to each other. So that made the two of them related too. So they knew each other. So this is starting at chapter 13, verse 13. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to stop him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It's proper for us to do this, to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened. He saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. So that's when Jesus was baptized. So here's a poster. And this shows one artist's idea of what it might have looked like. The Jordan River is here. There's John the Baptist. There's Jesus. And light from heaven. When Jesus was baptized, God was pleased. And I also want to talk about where the Jordan River is. Okay, this is now in the country called Israel, but back then it was called Palestine. The Jordan River starts in the mountains here. It runs into the Sea of Galilee, and Jesus grew up pretty close to there in the town of Nazareth. The Jordan River comes through and it empties into the Dead Sea. And it's only about 60 miles long. And it's not real deep, and it's not real wide, but it's important. And here's Jerusalem, where the big temple was. And Jesus went there as a boy and learned. And he went there as an adult and taught other people who came to the temple. And there's Bethlehem, where he was born. So there's a little bit more about John the Baptist, so you know about him. So John the Baptist told people, repent, get ready for Jesus coming, because he knew Jesus and he knew he was coming. And so repent means to ask God to forgive you for your sins and try to live a better life, more the way God wants us to live. And John the Baptist lived alone in the desert for a long time. So people came to John the Baptist and confessed their sins. He baptized them in the Jordan River. He also baptized Jesus. And though John said, I'm not worthy, John baptized with water, but he said Jesus would baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now, I have a niece who lives in Nevada. She was baptized in the Jordan River. If you go to the country of Israel today, and you go to the Jordan River, at the northern end of the Sea of Galilee, there's a place where you can even put on a white baptismal robe. There's a walkway down into the river. And you can safely be baptized there the way Jesus was. And my niece was about 12 at the time. And her family had gone to Israel to see where Jesus lived. And she said she wanted to be baptized in the Jordan River. And her mom and dad let her do that. And if you Google 
baptism in the Jordan River. You can see all kinds of videos of people getting baptized in the Jordan River. So, I wonder, how do you think John the Baptist felt when Jesus asked him to baptize him? Because he knew Jesus was the Son of God. Have you ever seen a dove? Because it says in the Bible that the Spirit of God was there in the, like a dove. And what do you imagine God's voice might have sounded like? So, in the wonder box here, it doesn't shake. Here's a little drawing of a dove to remind us when Jesus was baptized. Today, there's different kinds of baptism in Christian churches around the world. So Jesus was baptized in the river. My niece was baptized in the river. My dad was raised in the Lutheran church. In the Lutheran church, they usually usually sprinkle babies to show parents' promise to raise them to love God and Jesus in the Lutheran Church. And then when he was about 12, they usually take a confirmation class or a membership class where they learn more. And then there's a special worship where they officially join the church as a Christian. My mom went to a small Baptist church out in the country. She was baptized in a creek. So you can still have that done today. Um, they didn't have a baptismal. We have one in the front of our church where people can be baptized, but they didn't. So she got baptized in a creek. I was baptized when I was in the sixth grade. And I was going to this church, although we were in the downtown Bloomington building, where it was a baptismal, where you were baptized in the water. So, we have special gifts that God gives us, and they honor God when we use our gifts we've been given. And here at church, Pastor Brian leads worship on Sundays. He teaches us about God and Jesus. He plans and leads meetings. He helps us grow our faith in God in many different ways. Cherry helps with worship and leads the choirs. Diane is our organist and pianist. Dean is the praise team leader and Michelle directs logos in the visual arts. Jenea works in the office. And Dave is the campus manager, manager to make sure that everything is set up for worship and all the cleaning that needs to be done. So, you can look at your page if you have the papers all of us have gifts, and sometimes it's hard to know what God wants us to do. I feel like God wanted me to be teaching, so that's what I do. But there's all kinds of ideas here. If you're artistic, you like talking to people, you're good with kids, you like to speak. Most of you sing in choir. Maybe you play a musical instrument. Maybe you're a cook, and you can help in the kitchen, and all kinds of things. So that'll help give you an idea, because sometimes it even changes as you get older, and you find out, hey, there's other gifts that God made me, I'm and I'm going to use them. And our Bible verse for today comes from Psalm 145.9. And you can read it with me. The Lord is good to everyone and everything. God's compassion extends to all his handiwork. And that's from Psalm 145.9. I hope that you think about baptism, and it's up to each person 
when they feel God wants them to be baptized. You could be maybe junior high or high school. Adults get baptized. So it's really between you and God. When is a good time? And then you go to the pastor and ask and tell him that you would like to be baptized. It's an important day. And thank you for listening.